I'm Brian Bisme from Cowboy Harley-Davidson of Austin. We will be replacing a motorcycle front fender. We have to do is loosen all of the mounting hardware. Don't remove it yet, just loosen it because we don't want the fender to fall and chip the paint. This is a pretty easy fender to remove. So this hardware is loose but not removed. Do the other side. We don't want to damage the wheel either. Loose. And loose. Remove the rest of the hardware by hand. Be very careful with motorcycle painted finished surfaces. They are very expensive to repair. Take the rear bolts out, hold the fender, keep it from moving. The front bolts out. Once these front bolts are out, the fender is free to move around and get scratched. Remove our last mounting bolt. We want to lift our fender straight up, gently. Rotate it out the front of the bike, damage free. Going back in, clean our fender. It's easier to put the mounting bolts back in their locations. That way when we get the fender in place, we can slide the mounting bolts right through. This fender happens to be directional. It's got a longer end on the back. We want to gently lower it back in between the forks, line up our mounting holes, slide our mount bolts through to hold the fender in place. We need to get our lock nuts, put them on the insides of the fender mounting bolts. We want to snug our bolts down. This is a micrometer style torque wrench. You simply turn the bottom until you reach your desired torque setting, which in this case is 21 foot-pounds. Then we're going to torque our fender nut. 21. This is a clicker style torque wrench, so it'll click when you reach your desired torque. Torque the other side. Make sure you do get these nuts tight. You don't want the fender falling off going down the road. Double check. That's good. That's good. I'm Brian Bisme from Cowboy Harley-Davidson of Austin. This is how to remove and replace a motorcycle front fender.